My name is John, and I live in Fort Worth, Texas. And during the 2016 primaries, uh, since the, it came down to a decision between Ted Cruz and Donald Trump, I was not even a big fan of Ted Cruz, but it took six months of Donald Trump being in the primaries for me to warm up to the idea of supporting Ted Cruz as the Republican nominee. But then when it fell to Donald Trump, it took pitting him against Hillary Clinton, of all people, to make me willing to re reluctantly go to the polls and cast a vote for Donald Trump. And I told people then that when I did so, I would be holding my nose so tightly I would damage the cartilage. I also told people the only reason, the only thing I expect that as much as I disagreed with his policies, his many ways that he hijacked the conservative movement to enact things that conservatives have not stood for for the past several decades, uh, the only thing that gave me any glimmer of hope was the hope of a originalist Supreme Court pick. We got two of them. One of them turned out to be a textualist rather than an originalist, but be that as it may. I always said, after I get that Supreme Court pick, after Hillary has been displaced as President of the United States, I'll be done with Trump. I have, will have no use for him. I try, you know, I was as pleasantly surprised by some of the things that were uh, uh, accomplished along conservative lines. I was I was thrilled that uh, Speaker Paul Ryan was able to uh, see his life's work, 20 years working on uh, tax reform, see that come to light. Uh, beyond that, between them and Lafayette Square, I was Dr. Jekyll and Mr. Hyde about Donald Trump. Some days I would be laughing with my conservative friends about how Trump stuck it to the left. In other days, I'd be wringing my hands with my Democrat friends about what a terrible president Donald Trump is. <clears throat> and then Lafayette Square happened, and his threat to invoke the Insurrection Act against U.S. citizens, uh, contrary to the wishes of the states involved. In essence, threatening to turn the U.S. military against U.S. citizens for his own political gain. Then General Mattis breaks his silence and publishes a, a, a great, profound statement that should be preserved for the ages. People like him know what a president, what a civilian commander-in-chief duty is more than the current civilian leader of the U.S. military. And that was the last straw for me. I still can't say that I will vote for the other party. I may omit voting for president and vote Republican down the line. Time will tell. I'll know on election day. But Donald Trump does not deserve a second term. I can live with President Joe Biden in a way that I couldn't at the time live with a Hillary Clinton as president. I probably could have lived with a Hillary Clinton presidency, given what I've learned over the past few years. Thank you.